results. Okay, so something happened to me on Easter. It was, it's been this weird thing, and usually I can just let stuff go and just move on and, you know, chalk it up as just whatever bullshit. Um, but this has stuck with me up until right now. And usually stuff like this doesn't really bother me, as heartless as it sounds. But on Easter, I was at work, and I took my lunch. I ended up just going to McDonald's because that was the only thing that was open. And I ended up getting breakfast on Easter at McDonald's and this homeless guy comes in and he was like hey can you spare any change and I'm like no I don't have any cash and he's like I, I literally just want food can is there any way you could buy me food and I was like no I'm sorry and you could see in his eyes that he was sincere he was genuine he wasn't trying to like scam me or just take my money and run or whatever but I've gotten so used to just saying no and just, you know, dismissing people and kind of shunning them out just out of my own, un like, it's just not comfortable. I don't, I don't know. I don't know why I said no. I think I've just gotten into the habit of saying no to stuff that's just outside my comfort zone. I don't know why, you know, a few months ago, I was just like, fuck it, I'm going to travel. I'm going to go see Mike and Dana in Boston. I'm going to go to Key West, whatever. But lately, even before Key West, I've just gotten into this this unhealthy structure of just like usual, going to work, come home, eat, sleep, uh, haven't really been talking to anybody, isolating, but not really depressed, just bored, I guess you could say. And I, I've noticed that seeing him walk away, and he was, he was like really, he was really kind about it. He didn't kind of just like, you know, say fuck you and left. He was like, oh, okay, and walked out. And just, it just, it's been eating me up ever since then. It was Easter. I couldn't spare a couple dollars to buy this man some food. A cheeseburger for like a dollar. Uh, and it ruined my day. And that's not on him. And not, you know, obviously you're not supposed to just be, or not supposed to be, you don't have to just hand out money to every, every homeless person you see. But it was Easter and he was by himself walking around in the cold in Minnesota and uh, it like ate at me. It's been eating at me and I've literally thought about it every day, which is a weird thing because, you know, from my dad dying, from drug, all this stuff that's happened to me, I kind of, my brain automatically just lets it go and, you know, it's almost like a defense mechanism. And, uh... Yeah, I don't I don't know. It's it's been weird and I I've I wish I could go back in time to just be like of course I can buy you a meal on Easter. Of course I will. Like that's the least I can do for another person that's just hungry. That just wants the basic necessity just of nutrition. They just want to eat. And I was there like, "Oh no, I I I think my thought process was like, "No, no, no, no." Uh like, "Oh, I have to get back to work soon." It would have taken like 2 minutes. My boss wasn't even at work. Really what I'm saying is I don't really have any excuses. And I'm not some person who's like, we got to give all our money to the less fortunate. But God, it's like such a small, minute thing that would have made this guy's morning or day that I wouldn't even have thought about afterwards. And now it's like stuck with me for days now, weeks. How, when was Easter? 10 days ago? And it's like really fucked me up. Um... And I, I was watching this video where this guy has to say yes for 24 hours. He ends up, he ends up in Mexico with a dress on and he had the time of his life. He, like that, that lack of uh, fear of being embarrassed of what others will think of, you know, everybody around him, the people that were out in public were smiling and laughing. He was smiling too. And he just embraced that like, that just like, I'm just embarrassed and, you know, just laughed about it. And I can't say that I would do that. There's so many times where I want to say, fuck it. I'm going to say yes more. I'm going to say yes to everything. And that lasts like a day. And I don't even say yes to everything. I kind of just pick and choose like a, like a yes buffet. And, um, I don't know. I just, I feel like I need some sort of change and I don't know what it is.
And I, I get like this probably twice a year. I'm just like, I have to rethink my whole life. Am I doing this right? Am I, am I playing the game correctly? And I get so focused on that, that I lose sight of like living, as weird as that sounds. And uh, yeah, I don't know. So with all these problems that I'm having in my head and this like, I wouldn't say this is like a midlife crisis or anything, but I've kind of come up with some solutions. And my sponsor a while back told me, or no, it was my house manager, Joe, who's like my pseudo dad. He always told me, because I always go up to him and I'm like, oh my God, you know, my, I got a flat tire, I got this, I got that, uh, there's so many things. And he'd always say, make your solutions bigger than your problems. And that's stuck with me. There's, there's two phrases, and I have a terrible memory, I'm sure you guys all know from years of Xanax abuse, but there's two sayings that always like really hit home to me, hit home with me, hit home with me that I've memorized. And that is, make the bad, or <laughs> I fucked it up. Uh, the bad times make the good times that much better and make your solutions bigger than your problems. And they're pretty simple things to go by or to believe, I guess. But they're, they're not easy at times, that's for sure. I don't know, this is one big... <laughs> I didn't think this video would get that deep, but I, I want to start saying yes more. Obviously, I'm not gonna, you know, say yes to everything, but I want us to... If, if someone comes up to me and is like, hey, uh, can you can you buy me a sandwich? Yes, I will, if, if I can afford it, obviously. I, I just want to be there for people. I want to be that person that people can count on. I also want to, I want to travel more, I want to take risks. And I know a lot of people are like, yeah, I want that too, but, you know, not many people actually do something about it. It's, it's like that want factor isn't as big as actually, like, wanting to, to actually do it. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I was just thinking about this and I saw that video and it just, it like gave me chills. And I just want to be a better person, you know? I want to like, I want to leave like a footprint, a good footprint on this earth before I die. Not that I'm going to die anytime soon, but I want to be remembered as like a good person that helped people and didn't just, you know, sit around on his ass and made YouTube videos or bitched about his cat or, you know. I don't know. I, I want to be a good person. I'm not like a terrible person, but you know, I'm not being as good a person as I actually could be. And I think that's true for, you know, probably everybody. No one's perfect, but you know, why not try to go the extra mile to gain perfection? <laughs> Anyways, um, yeah, that's my thought process. It's been a while since I've felt some sort of way about anything. I've been kind of stale and stagnant and content with uh, whatever this is. So, okay. Um, yeah, I, I just want to reiterate, I'm not depressed. I'm just kind of rethinking my life. So don't be like, oh, you're so sad. I'm not sad. Uh, I'm like inspired and I want to do something about it instead of being like, well, no, can't do anything about it. But I, I really want to, I don't know, I want to travel. I want to like not take life so seriously. And uh, I want to help people, be of service to people. And yeah, I don't know. That's like the point of living, right? If you can't like positively affect other people's lives, it's like, what's, what's the point, honestly? I get so much enjoyment out of doing that. Anyways, um, yeah. If you haven't followed me on Instagram, please go do it. All you gotta do is just hit follow, or is it follow? I think it's just follow, and uh, you get a chance to win a half pound of menthols kratom mix on May 1st. All you gotta do, menthol kratom, follow, that's it. You don't gotta leave a comment, you don't gotta like anything, and uh, also follow me on Snapchat, it's just menthol K. If you guys want Kratom, go to ChrisFirstOrganicBotanicals.com. Use the promo code MENTHOL if you like his Kratom, uh, and you'll get 10% off. Okay.